Hello everyone, my form tools. Welcome to my science lesson this week. Hope everyone is doing well. Okay, so um, let's begin our lesson. Okay, it will be a short lesson today. Okay, including the exercise. Okay, so this week's lesson is four point two, body defense. Okay, what a great opportunity to learn about our body defense since. The coronavirus is everywhere. Okay, you will know how it works. Okay, so four point two body defense. Okay, now pathogen enters the body through the respiratory system, digestive system, excretory system, and skin. Okay, our body has a lot of openings. Okay, so bacteria or pathogen. Remember what is pathogen? Okay, pathogens are um, viruses, uh, bacteria, and everything that causes you disease. Okay, that is pathogen. Okay, so when it enters your system, okay, you have three lines of defense. Okay, three lines of defense. Think of it like football, you have three lines. Okay, if you watch football. So three lines. Okay, so um, let's look at these three lines. Okay, the first line is this. Okay, this. We call it non-specific body defense system. Okay, why is it non-specific? Means it will not target any particular virus or pathogen or whatever. They target all. Okay, so that's what we call non-specific. First line and second line are non-specific. Okay, as mentioned here. Okay, as mentioned. Sorry, as mentioned here. Okay, first line, second line. They are non-specific. Okay, let's look at our first line. Okay, so first line is your skin. Okay. We have 11 body systems. One of it is called integumentary system. Do you remember? This is your form one. Basically, it's your skin. It covers from your head to your toe. Every inch of your body is covered with your skin because your skin is the first barrier. Okay? It's like a wall. Okay, so what does it do? It prevents pathogens from entering the body, okay, obviously. Okay, so uh, two things here. Number one, your skin. Okay. Human skin is made of a tough layer and it's difficult to penetrate by organism. Okay, your skin is very amazing. Okay, so microorganisms can only get into the body if there is a, sorry, if there is a wound or if the skin is injured. Okay, so only if there's a cut, then bacteria can enter. That's why if there's a cut, your body will clot the cut very quickly. Okay, and uh, if you notice, if somewhere is cut, it will feel swollen here. Why is it swollen? Because your white blood cell, which is your second line, I'll talk about that later, will come there and kill all the bacteria before it spreads to your body. Okay, very amazing. Okay, so third, your skin produces two things. Number one, sweat. Okay, sweat has enzyme inside that kills bacteria. Okay, very awesome. That's why if you sweat more, your skin becomes better. Okay, you don't need all this skin care, yada yada, whatever. Just sweat, go exercise. Not now though. Okay, just do it at home. Okay, next you have your sebum. You know what's a sebum? Okay, if you don't wash your face for a few hours, if you touch it, it feels oily. The oil is called sebum. Okay, it's called sebum. So what does the sebum do? The sebum kills bacteria, it also traps bacteria. Okay, extra info for you. Okay, this is not an exam. During your puberty, which is now, you get a lot of pimples. Why? Because you have too much sebum going on in your skin. So the sebum will trap the bacteria and it will get trapped inside your pores. Okay? So your pore gets dirty and then you get pimple. Simple. Okay? What can you do? Nothing. Just wash your face. It will go away. Because you are young. Okay? It's a good sign you have pimples because you are young. Okay? So that's your first line. Okay? What else? It is your mucous membrane. Okay? For all the... Like I said... Our body has a lot of openings, okay? All these openings, we have mucous membrane. So as the name says, it produces mucus. Do you still remember what is a mucus? Mucus is a sticky substance, okay? Uh, you produce it a lot when you have flu. Okay, so what does the mucous membrane do? It is the li it lines the digestive tract and respiratory tract, okay? It lines everything, okay? All your lungs, is it? that's all mucous membrane. So... Microorganisms that enters the respiratory tract are filtered by nasal hair. You know, nasal hair means your nose hair, lah. Okay, it's like a filter. So don't breathe through your mouth. Breathe through your nose because there's hair to trap the bacteria. Okay, and trap the mucus lining in the nasal cavity. Okay, what else? Earwax, tears, 
okay, vaginal secretion okay, for girls, okay, it functions as antiseptic. Antiseptic means kill bacteria. Okay, earwax is the one inside, okay, it smells, uh, it kills bacteria. Okay, tears also kills bacteria, that's why you get dust in your eyes, you will have tears. Okay, so that's basically your first line. As you can see here, it's non specific, it doesn't target anyone. Okay, so this is also how coronavirus enters your body, okay, through your nose, your mouth, your eyes, eyes not so much, your ears not so much, that's why you cover your mouth with masks, okay, and you practice social distancing, okay, so, uh, next, let's look at second line, now, some bacteria manage to, some pathogen manage to enter you, okay, this is where you start to feel sick, you have sniffle, you start coughing, Okay, so this is where your second line will come. Okay, so as I said just now, second line is still non-specific, means they will not target any particular, they will target all. Okay, so basically your second line is your white blood cell. Okay, all these white blood cells. As you can see here, pathogens already enter through the opening of a skin, so your white blood cell will go into work. Okay, so what does second line do? It will fight pathogen through phagocytosis. Please memorize this word. What is phagocytosis? Phagocytosis means I eat. The white blood cell will go and eat the bacteria. Okay, the eating part is called phagocytosis. Okay, again, phagocytosis. The more times you pronounce the better you remember phagocytosis. Okay, so it functions like this. Okay, can you see the white blood cell is eating the pathogen? Okay, so white blood cell engulf. Okay, we don't call eat, we call engulf. Okay, it means to eat okay so and digest the pathogen using enzymes through phagocytosis okay of course this process is slow okay how slow when you feel sick you are down for a few days because you need time for this for your white blood cell to engulf all the bacteria because the bacteria can reproduce very quickly okay so it takes time for them to you know make you feel better just give it time okay so Next, let's go to the third line. This is the best defense system you have. Okay, so this is also specific. What does it mean by specific? It will target a particular pathogen to attack. Okay, like let's say you've got chickenpox now, or you've got common flu now, or coronavirus. Okay, it will target whatever that is specific. Okay, so it doesn't engulf, okay? Engulf is for the cheap, low glass white blood cell, okay? But the third line, they are very uh, sophisticated, uh, very, very changi. It's like comparing Nokia and iPhone. This is the iPhone version of white blood cell. So it will produce something called antibodies, okay? What is antibody? Antibody is basically a substance that attacks the pathogen. Okay, so the high class, the iPhone back white blood cell will not go in and engulf pathogen. That is the low class thing to do. They will produce antibody to attack the pathogen that they want to attack. Okay, think of it is think of it as this way: your white blood cell is using a machine gun. It doesn't target anyone, but your third line one is using a sniper. They only target what who they want to kill. Okay, that's why they are so good. So this is your antibody. So how does it do fight pathogens by using antibody? So the keyword here is antibody. Okay, so immunity is the ability of the body system to resist pathogen before it's infected. Okay, so if you have, if you are immune against certain disease, that's what we call you have an immunity. Okay, so it involves the production of antibodies when pathogens enter the body. Okay, so it produces antibody like I said just now. What is antibody? Antibody is a protein produced by white blood cell to the bloodstream to respond to antigen. What is antigen? Uh, if you must know, antigen is what is on the pathogen. Okay, this is how your white blood cell identify who to kill. Okay, this is like the IC, the ID card of the bacteria. How do I know which is which? Okay, so that's what we call antigen. So an antigen, uh, is really explained here, is a foreign substance that comes from outside the body and induces the production of antibo antibodies. Example of antigens are pathogen, toxins, okay, like your snake toxin, if you are bitten by a snake, 
okay the toxin the, the poison stuff is toxin and blood cells from other group okay ah this what is blood cell from other group let's say your blood group O okay and now for some reason you need blood transfusion and the doctor is stupid enough to give you an A group ha this is where shit hits the fan because your body couldn't recognize this A because your A has an antigen on it so your body feel thinks oh my god I'm being invaded by some unknown bacteria and then your blood will start attacking the A blood and then your O blood and A blood will fight and then the blood will clot inside your body huge disaster okay so what else is antigen um some people they are allergic to Poland you know it's Poland Poland is the powder produced by the the sperm of the flower some people they can't smell flower they will just go crazy they'll go flu for a whole day that's what we call allergy okay if you're allergic to Poland's means your white blood cell couldn't calm down and pull into your body you'll be like oh holy shit I don't recognize this fur let's kill it let's create a immune response let's sneeze let's cough because I couldn't recognize this must be bad but some you smell Poland you don't feel anything because your white blood cell is pretty chill like meh this is not a bacteria guys let's just calm down okay so why would you get allergy this is genetic okay can't blame anyone okay so uh this is what we learned this week okay short lesson okay let's go into the exercise okay let's go to the exercise there's a short short note here okay you can refer to okay uh it's mentioned here non-specific okay first second line specific third line okay so it's already uh summarized for you here okay so let's look at question 14 humans are lucky to have two types of body defense mechanism specific spe defense mechanism and non-specific defense mechanism compare and contrast specific and non-specific okay basically compare and contrast compare means they want the similarities contrast they want the difference okay so uh, basically two marks here one similarity one difference so what is the similarity okay they both uh, kill pathogens okay so what's the difference uh, you can say specific okay for specific it targets specific pathogens okay well as for non-specific sorry well as for non-specific okay it targets all pathogens okay simple so b describe the strategy of specific and then non-specific like i should say just now specific they produce they produce anti body okay antibody production okay or you can say produces antibody same thing so what is the non-specific one they will do uh oh non-specific as two the skin one the skin we call it physical barrier okay or if you can write specific spe uh, sorry uh, physical barrier the white blood cell one is called uh, phago phago cytosis okay take a uh, beware of the spelling okay, if it's wrong then it's wrong okay so C complete the table below by stating the type of immunity for each case uh, okay this is in next week's lesson so don't bother okay so let's look at 15 the body's defense mechanism protects the body from infectious disease by preventing the entry of pathogen into the body and by reacting with pathogens that have entered into the body there are three types of defense lines in the human body that are responsible for protecting the human body from infectious disease okay so this is a skin a what are the functions of sebaceous and sweat glands in protecting microorganisms from entering the body so what is a sebaceous gland sebaceous gland okay will produce sebum okay and your sweat gland of of course as the name says it produces sweat okay two marks nothing much here b mucous membrane is the epithelium lining that lines the digestive tract blah 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 and the res uh, respiratory tract justify the importance of mucous membrane the human body defense system. okay basically it asks you why is mucous 
membrane so important first point it is to produce mucus okay produce mucus okay so why is mucus so important okay number one mucus will trap pathogen or uh, just you could say dust but that is only for the respiratory so it traps pathogen that's why when you have flu okay there's a lot of mucus inside because it trap all the bacteria okay what else um you can also say it has enzyme okay to digest the pathogen okay okay, okay. so c uh this is the second line of defense of human body okay so bacteria can you see it eats the bacteria say the type of blood cell that is responsible for this second line of defense for blood cell this is free mark your white blood cell okay number two explain the role of blood cell stated in the second line of defense okay what does it do what does it do what does it do? what's the eating process called yes it engulfs bacteria okay what's the process called it's called fe go there you go cytosis okay simple so d the diagram below shows the third line of defense in human body the line of defense involves the production of antibodies okay, what is lymphocyte lymphocyte is like i said the iphone version of white blood cell not the nokia chip version of it okay so it produces antibody what is the meaning of antigen okay what is antigen antigen is what we use to identify the pathogen okay you can say the protein present on the surface of pathogen okay pathogen has antigen really okay makes sense okay so number two what is meant by antibody antibody is a uh, protein used to kill a pathogen okay so uh let's look at one more the diagram below shows body defense mechanism for preventing the spread of a disease the definition of antibody okay is really mentioned up there write it yourself so b1 uh what defense mechanism is this okay antibody is your specific okay so number two explain how cell a is stimulated to produce antibody one mark okay your pathogen contains what's the thing on the surface it's called antigen so antigen on the surface of the pathogen okay so see what will happen to the pathogen after the clump okay what does it mean they will okay one job of the antibody is to bring all these bacteria together so it's easier for the second line white blood cell to catch them if it makes any sense okay so uh, what will happen to the pathogen after the clump so the white blood cell okay will carry out what's the eating part called what's the eating one it's called phago cytosis okay the eating one okay so uh the rest i will leave it up for you to do okay let's not keep this video very long hey okay? it's holiday go and enjoy yourself Okay, so uh, I think I'll stop here. I think I'll stop here. So thank you for paying attention. We will continue this next week. Okay, if this video, uh, you have any question, please post it down the Google Classroom group. And please watch this few more times. Okay, since you have Sophie at home, so just watch this few more times. Okay, but no worries. Once the physical class is con uh, is, is is resumed we will go through this again okay we'll do it in next class okay so thank you again i'll see you next week bye bye